So let's start with this guy. So I think this is definitely getting better. Um, we'll talk about the chair later. Let's just go through the shop. If you here. did teach, you'd be steady income. Let's realign this. Sound lower. Those women were into us because we were artists. And then reality hits. So the thing is, no it is getting better. The overall feeling, the roughest part to me feels here. And if you did teach, it would be steady income. Things like this. And it's, it's only because how you, go, how you go from the shapes here, and then you stop. And you see how you stop, and then nothing's moving. Like I can go through there, and there's nothing going on. So it feels a bit... Like you're just dialing the shapes in and out, in and out, in and out. And then everything's dead. And then you go to this. And even on that turn, um, just overall, even in the face and the, the head animation, see how everything just dies. So I think at this point you can have, he goes, huh? and you have like a tiny, tiny bit of a hold here. Not that you want to get into a smirk, but just so it doesn't completely die. And then that way you can have the whole thing bleed into this moment where see how everything is dead until the jaw starts moving. And the jaw, if you look at the spacing, that is like a linear, a linear key at the start. So I would put that on a flat tangent so that it starts a bit slower. And then you can have the whole thing start with like a tiny, tiny bit of a brow raise, maybe two frames earlier. Just so that there's something happening right before the whole head moves. Because right now, the jaw starts moving, the head starts moving, and it, it almost feels like everything is moving at the same time. So you can kind of bleed into the poses a bit more. That's just for the beginning. Don't be disgusting. I think this a bit louder. Don't be disgusting. I feel like disgusting and I feel for the first couple of frames it's okay to like 126 127 526 um, and then I will go in uh, faster so basically it feels like you're going when he goes don't be disgusting don't be disgusting and that's a key here and then you have a key from this shape to this shape and it feels like it's still fairly even and I would do disgusting, slow, and then shh, something like that. Like you, it's as if you're having a disgusting, and it's kind of soft, relaxing, because you're still kind of holding that thought and that moment. And then it bleeds into this part where the closing of the mouth just accelerates just a tiny bit into that, just so it's not so um, floaty. Those women were into us because we were artists, and then. I think the artist works better. We're into us because we were artists. And then reality hit. The only thing is. Because we were artists. And then reality. Then. The thing is after that you have. And then reality hits. And it's. It's better. Artist. And then reality hits. And no. The only thing that. Starts to happen after this point. Is that you have this mouth shape. Where this end. Is always curving down. And if you go through. It curves down curves down use all uh, even here it curves down curving down curving down see it's always down and I feel like in moments where then reality hits reality and then reality hit so in reality around this section right and then reality hits and then reality hits I would have a little break of shape where it's not pointing down and it's and it doesn't have to look like a smile and it might even it might look like a smile but it's just a couple frames where this shape actually goes up and it's just to have a little bit of a contrast and to feel more reality e it's difficult if you say e to curve your corners down and then reality hits and no money and, and no even on ends ends you can bring it up and and then no you can have it down the way you have it no money and no real future and then you know but and then the rest is fine. It's just those little, little moments there. And then for the ending, I think this works definitely <clears throat> a lot better. My only thing is uh, I would tone this guy down by like 50%. So if I steered you that far, then I'm sorry. It's always good to see things big so we can see what works. And then we can start dialing things down. Because the only thing is looking at this hand, I see a gap here. 
So with the movement going up to the right, it doesn't feel like it's resting. There's something where it feels like this part is resting on this knee, but the rest isn't really. Because if it was, I feel like this knuckle line would be kind of like this. It would be folded and draped more, and and this finger would be lower, this lower, and then this pinky higher, just because it would rest in between the gap of the legs. So there's something off as the hand comes up and then back to the left. So it feels a bit like this section. I know you make it look like it, it's going with the knee. I think it's just, uh, just a bit much. That's all, but the rest works a lot better. And then, you know, but... But if you did teach, it would be steady income. Don't be disgusting. Those women really were into now. us because Your we were people artists. At the beginning and then the reality really hits, and no money and no real future, and then you know. But... Yeah, it's really cool. You're really getting there, getting there, meaning you're almost done. Don't be disgusting. But stuff like that is great. That's really sweet polish. Now for the chair, um, so remember doing an animation the same way. What I did was, uh, if that's your chair, you got this guy here. You got your armrests. And then what do you have? You have something where it's flat like that. I used to have one with, you know, the thingy and then the rollers. But I went all out and then I had, um, I guess let's make this here. I had a joint here and a joint here, right? So I could rotate, that's my chair. I could rotate this section from here on like that. But I could also rotate it uh, left and right. And then I would have... I don't know if these guys are going back to something here, but I would have a joint here so that, take this out. So you have, if you have a pivot here, that the whole thing, this whole piece can rotate up and down and it would be no deformation. I would have this as a separate piece, this as a separate piece and just parents this whole section to the joints, All right? So in your setup, so I would have if that's your guy here, I would have a, a joint here with the pivot here. Well, no, let's keep it simple. I would have, if your guy goes down, have a joint here, going up to a here, up to a here. So that way you can have the whole chair pivot off this guy to the left and right. So when he leans over, then it pivots with the little joint here so that this guy can go left and right and obviously back and forth so it would be that's your chair going this way and if that's your chair from the front going sideways um, and then i would have joint here where this connects to the back so that this whole section can go up and down but then also left and right i hope any of this makes sense <laughs> but that's how i would approach it i would have like a reconstruction of the chair you know so that's that's your ground and that's where he sits on and that's um the backrest and then you could always have something like this so then i would have the joint down here going up into here up into here one here 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 and here all right and that way you parent this guy to this and then you parent this guy to this joint, right? Um, and then you have the armrest that's parented to uh, to this section of the joints, right? And that way, if you move it from here and you go this way, that whole chair is gonna, you know, that whole thing is gonna pivot like this. And I think that will be, you know, you don't, you can. You can cheat that this goes through the ground because I think your your animation might go from something here down to something here. Very minimal. You know? And if you want to... The thing is, if this is your render area, if this line is the lowest you'll ever see, you won't see your thingies here. So it won't look as if this section goes down into the ground. You only have this cushion moving. Now, if you're saying that this is just your, your action safe or something and you do see up to down here, um, 
then that's that will be a bit trickier then i will just not include those guys and just have this geometry move and even if this moves and this doesn't it, it might look as if it's kind of squishing into this part and be separate i think that should be fine again i hope this makes any sense worst case just send me the chair and i can do it if you want to you know so you don't have to do uh, any technical things while you want to keep working on on um, what's it called on animation but if we go up to this guy you know worst case you take you swap it and you take this chair you know i don't know how this chair is is set up but it seems to have lots of pivoting things which might be already enough you know you might have to rearrange this guy hide this geometry and then take your other armrest and parent it here um you know that might be easier then you can just rescale the chair not too sure that would be something that you can let me know in an email about you know if it's if you prefer the other chair or something i uh, i can take a look at it that would be probably faster all right so i brought this guy up here and per your notes we're just looking at this whole beginning um and you're saying you worked on morpheus so i'm looking at the other guy malcolm here now it's all in your step mode although it seems seems detailed i don't know if that's what you wrote in there but that definitely seems more detailed i mean this this guy still looks fantastic in your in your poses and your timing i would just keep going the only thing would be quick moves like here where it might go through the leg i should be careful about stuff like that and then as you continue on you know that this arm doesn't just go swoops onto that hip but that it goes you know the hand goes up a bit higher and then settles in things like that but i'm sure you're fully aware of that if we look at morpheus i really liked it because i'm looking at him it's all really good then i look at him and nothing is distracting me from him and he's doing nothing and then with that knock you got that big reaction here i think that's all great look at your body thing there's just enough movements my only thing if you be picky if i scrub through this you see all the stuff that's moving but i see this line is not moving at all it feels like your guy is frozen in this section and everything else is animated. So I would just do a bit more hip and um, what's it called? Root animation. Same thing if you go down here, I see movement in this guy now, but it seems that everything is going down the same axis. So it's okay to have the shoulders go down, but you know, my one might be a bit stronger than the other, maybe go a bit more in, but this should not go down here it might go down this way just so it's not all in the same path if it's just all one axis all going down that's very dangerous it looks too robotic but same thing on your up you know when he when he goes up here you can have side to side movement in your elbows right so this guy can go in he can go what is he doing as he inhales it's just like your knees in your other shot those guys can go in so everything kind of compresses and then on the down, it can go out again as it exhales. So it's it's a bit more loose. See on down here, um, this elbow can go just go out just a tiny bit. And there's a lot of up and down, up and down, but it all looks like it's all one axis. So again, doing all those things, you can have tiny, tiny little weight shifts where that line just goes a little bit to the left. Just so we see some... Um, awesome line here uh horizontal pixel moving Click your finger thing again that's great and again i do have to ask um just let me know in an email if if this is your render are you action safe or where you actually render because it's almost a bummer to cut off right where you don't see the feet and right where you don't see uh the fingers so i would prefer that this is your actual render thing and not this but let me know other than that again i think this is working really well you got some nice stuff going on here it feels like it overlaps just the right amount i think your eyebrows your mouth just is a bit longer than the eyebrows you might just want to have one a bit longer but this is really good. 
and that all seems really good. So looking at your timing for this, as your brows go up, that's good for your reaction here. But then as he continues on, I will bring those guys just a tad higher and you can just back off your 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 sat shape a bit and go a, not into this, but just dial that a bit down. You can go slightly into a, into a little curve if needed, but just, you know, to get from A to B. But the thing is you go from A to B here and then you lock in that shape. You have a little bit of the mini frown here. I mean, the, the middle part. But there's, it's as if it's a global change from something to something like that. And there's no actual shape change, you know, into something different. And I would just have that reaction. And as he's doing all this, up until that drop here, continue on just with a little bit more of a change. Just so it's like a moving hold on your, on your eyebrows. Because it feels like he pops into that, boop, into that shape and then stops. And then goes down. Hey. The biggest thing to me was how it's tricky since you know it's, I would delay one of the hands. I know this guy seems is bigger than the other, but because of that, it also feels like a massive linear key. So I was I would ease into those movements a bit more. And then careful here, it looks like your wrist is really going over here and it feels really broken. So it would help to bring out that forearm as well. And maybe you can bring in um, the elbow. But this top view feels like forearm and then wrist. And you want to align the forearm and the wrist a lot more. So this guy feels a bit broken. Up until the fairly very end here. Even here, it feels like you're doing something like this. that works this i think you're holding this pose a bit long if it's like a little claw hand i think you know you can go into a section where it would be your index or your your middle and then that would be your index and you got your ring and then your pinky you know and then with with your your thumb out there not out there but it will leave it down here but i would take your index down here middle and just keep it a bit more relaxed. Just this feels it's always awkward when you have all the fingers curved, especially the index. So it gets a bit too claw like. And then on your turn, it feels a bit too connected where I I see a rotation in the chest and the head all going down at the same time and stop at the same time. And here you got the big uh, direction change going this way where it feels like everything is originating now from the root. This is all one piece going over. So what I would do is don't have that head go down as much because that way you break it up. You have more movement in the chest and then the head stays a bit more level. So it's a bit more broken up. And before you go as far with this, I would bring that chest back a couple frames so that the head is leading. The head is leading leading that whole action a lot more, like three to four frames. So it's more broken up. Because right now, as I scrub, oh, excuse me, as I scrub through this section here, it just feels all one piece. It's too connected. So break that up a bit more. So you know, at this point, that line of the chest would be here. You know, more more towards us with the chest and his arms. And then, same thing here, this feels like, as he goes forward, this is really one ginormous piece, it's like one piece of geometry going down. And if you want to go into this, I mean, I would have, almost keep this the, the smallest, and then you can have this go down, and then the, again, the head stay a bit level. Or if you want to have the head down, then I would lead again with the head and really hunker the head first. So that just not everything feels like it's just being moved and pushed over. Especially if you do this, I would keep that root here and have the chest more like this, more like a slump and the head down. Only because at this point, I'm looking at your leg orientation and all this and then the head here. He's really off balance. So you're going to have to have either a leg down here or again, it would help to curve that 
and just bring the center so that the head is still around here. But then your your back curve is more something like this. You know, and you can still have that, that slump like that. So he doesn't feel like he's suddenly just fainting and moving over down this way. That'd be my biggest um, note for this guy here. And it seems like he's doing, he's shifting weight, right? And he's going over this way. So I, what I would do is take this part of the root and as he does this, actually move this line here, and this line here. So it's a bit of a move this way. So shifting the weight over there, right? Which means that the hip goes up here. It will be down like this. It's going to be a curve like this in your body. And then when he takes that step, it will give us a weight shift where suddenly this side of the hip is up and this goes down. So I don't see that much in the, in the hip going on. And then that way you can also have the root, like I said, going from here a bit to the right and then back to the left. It doesn't have to be crazy big left or right, but right now it feels like it's a very straight, simple line over there. And I don't see anything happening in the hips where he does a weight shift. All right, that will be my comments. Oh, those will be my comments. <laughs> As always, email me, let me know if any of this doesn't make any sense. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.